In Excel, in order to insert a function like VLOOKUP or IF, you need to go to the Insert Function menu. You can find that by hitting ALT and going to the Formulas ribbon by hitting M and then going to Insert Function by hitting F. You will see it at the far left of the Formulas bar. You simply type the function that you want to use, hit Enter, and select that function in order for Excel to talk you through the various arguments that make up a function. You can also get to the Insert Function menu by clicking on the small Insert Function icon right next to the formula bar, or by using the shortcut Shift plus F3. Here we have a solution that looks very similar at first glance, but uses a VLOOKUP formula instead of using nested if statements. The VLOOKUP formula achieves the same result, but it's much easier to audit. The syntax for a VLOOKUP function is, first, the input cell that the table will look up. In our case, we want VLOOKUP to reference cell B13, which is our leverage input assumption. The second variable is the VLOOKUP table. In our instance, the table we want to reference is in cells A17 through to C20. The third variable tells VLOOKUP which column to return as an output. Our VLOOKUP table has three columns. The first column in a VLOOKUP table must match the input. Since our input is leverage, the first column of our VLOOKUP table must also be leverage. In this situation, we have the option of choosing column 2 or column 3. If we choose 3, VLOOKUP will return the coupon rate. If we choose 2, VLOOKUP will choose the Moody's credit rating. The fourth and final component can be set at either true or false. Our VLOOKUP is set to true as we want VLOOKUP to see the table as a series of thresholds. With a true setting, VLOOKUP will return a value of 8.5% for any leverage input from 0 to 39.99%. If we set the final component to false, we are telling Excel only to return an exact match. In this instance, if we type 40%, Excel will return 8.8%. However, if we type 39.99%, Excel will return a not applicable error.